Welcome to Moment, a local platform that lets you build, deploy, and manage apps with ease. In this tutorial, I'll walk you through the basics of creating a blog app in just 5 minutes. Before we start, we need to learn about web apps. While websites typically serve as platforms to deliver information, web apps enable users to interact with a variety of features to achieve specific goals, such as account management, processing transactions, or handling complex tasks. Like the course platform I'm showing, what you see and interact with, the buttons, forms, and displays, is called the front end. Behind the scenes, there's a database that works like a storage room, keeping track of all the important information like user accounts, orders, and product details. When you click a button, the web app processes your request and updates the information, making sure everything stays synchronized. Before we dive in, let's quickly go over how Moment works. The process is divided into three main parts, UI design, database setup, and configuring actions. Once the app is built, you can deploy it online with a single click. After its life, you can monitor real-time data and resource usage through the dashboard. To get started, I'm going to show you how to build a simple blog website. First, let's design the UI. For example, let's add the main title and the subtitle. On the right side of the screen, you can customize the position, size, and colors of these components to fit your style. Next, we'll need to display the block content, so let's add a list component to the page. You notice that we need to configure a data source. This brings us to the database side up. Click on data and create a new table called block with three fields, title, description, and cover image. Once the data table is ready, add some sample data so we have content to display. Now, go back to the list component and bind it to the block table. Add image and test components inside the list and customize their style as needed. Then, bind data to these components. For example, for the image component, switch from local upload to data binding, select the cover image field from the block data, and you're done. And just like that, the block page layout is set up. Now, let's make the blog interactive by allowing users to click on the blog post and navigate to its details page. First, create a detail page using various components. Fetch the blog data from the database and bind it to the components on this detail page. Since we have multiple blog posts, we need to set up a link parameter, like post ID on the detail page.
filter the database so that it displays a block where the ID matches the post ID. Go back to the block list and set up a click action on each post to navigate to the detail page. Passing along the post ID as a parameter. Now, when the user clicks on the blog post, they'll be taken to the details. At this point, we've built the UI, set up the database, and configured the app's actions. All that's left is to hit publish, and you'll get a live link to share your blog with the world. And that's the basics of Moment. While a blog app is a simple use case, Moment can do much more. With built-in features like AI, action flows, API integrations, payment systems, SSO and SEO tools, you can build much more complex business apps or AI-driven apps. We look forward to seeing what you create as you continue to explore Moment's capabilities.